I, I suggest that the important one is writing the paper and the presentation, okay? That's what gets you your name into the conference and into the, the SPE data bank. Now, in the abstract, you submit the abstract. What's the paper abstract? Well, it's an abstract is a clear, concise summary topic of the paper. It's generally short, 350 words or less. And it really is, what is your bright idea? How do you explain your bright idea in 350 words or less? Okay, explain your paper's uniqueness to the, the body of literature, okay? So it better be good because it goes to the program committee and your proposal only has one chance with the program committee. So it's like taking a roll of the dice. So how do you get a good abstract? You start with a good plan, okay? First of all, it's gotta to relate to the meeting scope, the meeting topic, okay? It's gotta present useful information. You gotta glean that out of your abstract. I know it's short, it's like a paragraph. You have to write about the whole topic of your paper and how it benefits, how it improves the knowledge base of the society. Explains the, you have to explain the methodology. It has to be technically sound. And you have to support your conclusions. Okay? And you do all this with your, your plan for writing your abstract. Material specifics, you have to present, and maybe present a new interpretation of an old topic or technology, or present new information or technology, okay? There's two types of papers. Case histories are more likely accepted, okay? Just remember that. Program committees like case histories, okay? That takes Sometimes old technology or new technology and uses it a different way. Those are, those are good papers. But before you start, ensure you get company approval to write the paper and travel to present it. Okay, can't emphasize that more. I have written abstracts under the assumption that my company is going to allow me to travel to present it. And after submitting the abstract to SP and getting accepted, the company said, no, you can't go. Well, that, besides uh, being an embarrassment to me, is an embarrassment to my company. So make sure you do that before you submit your abstract. Survey the existing literature. If you've got a good idea, look at the, look at the literature in one Petro to see if anybody else has done what you've done, okay? Also, see if there's related papers on what you've done. They can make good references for your paper. and meet the abstract deadline. I know the SPE uh, committees and the staff want you to make that deadline, okay? And if you don't have the paper, you don't get up to the podium. Okay, that should be pretty clear. So here's your engineer over here. He's staring at the clock and he's looking at his computer writing the paper and he's, he's uh, getting really nervous. So just make your deadline, okay? We're all under pressure. A good abstract has a good title, it's short, direct, informative, like Mr. Bob Lodogli's paper, is very short, but is very informative. I think it's like three or four words. As I mentioned, less than, th less than or equal to 350 words. Clear paper summary in the abstract. And you need to state any new information that's significant. Okay, you do that in your abstract. That's your advertisement piece to get your paper into the conference. And what are your conclusions? Okay. Now that is a lot, of, lot to put in a 350 word abstract, a paragraph, maybe a couple of paragraphs. But you've got a program committee that's reviewing thousands of papers and they have to go through there and read them quickly. And if something catches their eye, they'll accept your paper or not. So you, you got to make it good. Okay, how do you improve your chances to succeed in getting the abstract accepted? Okay, here's some of the do's. Organize your thoughts when you write your paper. 
use simple sentences, use common terminology. Okay, Term terminology that's only common to your company may not be common to the rest of the industry. So, either if you have to use it, explain it. Okay, I'm talking about uh, abbreviations and acronyms, things like that. Proofread your proposal. You know, in in your sp uh, urgency to get your abstract out. I've seen a lot of people write abstracts that don't proofread them and then they come to the committee and you can't understand it so it gets thrown out. It's got to be a technically sound story. In your abstract you've got to write you got to write it like a mini paper. And you have to convince the program committee that's technically sound what you're doing. And you have to clearly demonstrate where other people have done a similar approach and yours is different, okay? So how does it contribute to the literature? Okay, so keep your eye on the prize, okay? Make sure you know what the objectives are of those abstracts. Okay, what not to do. Okay, I think you learn more by showing people what not to do rather than what to do, because we always are told what to do. Do not exceed the word count limitation. If your abstract gets cut off and it'll be cut off electronically, the important part may be at the tail end of the abstract, so it may not get accepted because of that. Okay, no spelling or grammar errors. Have someone else proofread it. Okay, I can't emphasize that enough. Being a technical editor in the past, I know. Abstracts, um, they, they are, um, they can be ripe with spelling and grammar errors because of your neat urgency to get it out and get it into the program. Do not use run-on sentences. You know what I mean by run-on sentences? Okay, I see a lot of heads shaking, no. Run-on sentences, a good example is uh, writing a, um, a sentence that says and, 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 and. Okay, and the, the sentence might be three, a paragraph long. Don't write those kind of sentences. You almost fall asleep by reading those kind of sentences, okay? No references in your abstract. These are just some guidelines. No figures or tables except for the IPTC, the International Petroleum Technical Conference. Okay, and then no commercial sales pitch. If you're writing for a company, like one of the service companies, they write a lot of papers for the, uh, the, uh, the conferences, but don't make a commercial sales pitch out of your paper. Otherwise, it won't get accepted. So keep your eye on the prize, okay? What are you doing this for? Being concise, I can let you read this. Yet descriptive uh, for program me, but if you put something that's too commercial in, it's the kiss of death for your abstract, okay? And this and don't say anything like new or innovative, okay? Be a little bit humble when you write your abstract, please. Um, this man, Mario Zamora, who is the uh, member of the ATC Offshore European Program Committee, has made this statement, and he's exactly right, okay? No trademarks, no company names. Make it general. Be short and to the point. When you submit your abstract, okay, there's your author, potential author going to submit your abstract. There's a SP submission process, and the SP advertises that. Follow the instructions, include names and emails of your co-authors, okay, and indicate whether you want to have your abstract or your paper as an e-poster submission, okay. You will submit your abstract online, like this guy is doing and you follow the link from what's given in the, um, the instructions from SPE. Okay? And everybody's got email and everybody sees this come out from all these conferences. 